Hello viewers, this time we are going to learn how to implement AR face mask using AR code and uh, if you have already implemented this uh, and then you will easily relate what I am going to say now. If uh, you create a simple AR face mask using AR code and you are building an app for Android then you will notice that uh, uh, you have to use an image obviously so that image is simply applied on your face so that image doesn't act according to or uh, it doesn't change uh, that image of the image doesn't change according to your face expression. So if you are uh, blinking your eyes and uh, and if you are moving your lips, so these type of things uh, doesn't uh, change, make uh, or doesn't bring any change to your face image, which is applied on your face. So we have found a workaround for this, and I would like to share it with you. Now, without wasting more time, let's start with this tutorial. First, we need to create a simple Unity 3D project, and I hope you all know how to create a Unity project. And then, uh, before creating any AR code app you have to make changes in the player settings section so first uh, make sure that you are already switched to android platform and then go to player settings and uh, then first uh, first change the name of this company name according to you and then you can give a name to your app so i'm just giving ar mask and then you can you can change the default orientation to portrait uh, there are other options as well so it, uh, by default auto rotation is selected but right now i'm using portrait and then go to other settings and uh, make sure that uh, minimum api level selected is 7.0 and then go to gra graphics api here and uh, there you will find one more option here vulkan api so remove it because air code doesn't support it and then after you are done with these changes you can simply import AR code SDK to your project and uh, you can download it simply search Google AR code SDK Unity you will find this page and you can simply click here and download it I have already downloaded it and I have already imported it in my project so after importing AR code SDK to your project you will find certain errors on your console so to remove those errors what you have to do is you have to install certain packages go to package manager and install multiplayer HL API and uh, XR legacy input helper so these two packages must be in your system means must be in your project else you will get uh, plenty of errors and you won't be able to generate the app and after you are done with these configuration you can now create uh, AR face mask app now first what you need to do is uh, search for AR core device and drag it to your scene delete your main camera and uh, now you can see that it requires a session config so in our case we will create another session config so you will find session config here and rename it now disable this because we don't need anything in detection and disable light estimation as well and uh, after that uh, enable this augmented face mode and change it to mesh and uh, now we don't need to make any other changes simply go to this airport device and change the session config uh, you can see that there is an error over here which asks you to change the camera mode to selfie so you can see here you can change this value your selection to front facing and uh, after saving this we will first we will create an empty game object and uh, name it accordingly then we will use a prefab which you will find with this google AR code package when you import it you search for canonical face mesh import it in your scene and first unpack it and then now uh, add a script over here AR code augmented face leak and uh, enable this auto bind option and uh, then after that uh, first you need to create one more empty game object which will be your face section after creating an empty game object you have to add 
you have to add certain components first is a fix mesh render then you need to create a mesh filter and after that you have to add a AR core augmented face mesh filter and make sure that you enable auto mine option here as well make these two objects child of the face attachment empty object and uh, now we need to add uh, material so that uh, we can see a texture applied on our, face, on our face so first let me show you the image which i will be using the image which we are going to use to create the ar face mask so i'm going to use this image uh, let me show you the original image so this was the image which i downloaded from google and you can use other image as well so after downloading it what i did is i cropped it in such a way so that only this portion remains and i have also removed the eyes part and also removed the lips section so you can use photoshop and any other image editing tool and after editing this image make sure that image should look like in this way uh, this lips part should not be visible means these parts should be transparent and after creating this image make sure that uh, again, i am again repeating that make sure that these parts must be transparent it means the rest of the image must be transparent uh, except this face skin which you can see here in this in this on the screen and after creating the image you need to create one more image which will be a transparent image so you you won't be able to see anything because it is a transparent image so you again you can use photoshop and any editing tool or you can also search on google you will find plenty of um, transparent background images so after creating these two images just simply import them in your project after importing them first we will create a material face material we will create one more material mesh material now change this material to a little transparent and same for face material and now in case of face material just drag this face image here and in case of mesh material drag the transparent background image after making these changes now we will add these materials here change this material from this mesh material and uh, go to face texture and here you can see we have to add a material so you simply drag face material to this section and now we are done with all the changes which are required and uh, we can add one more component here which is a controller for your app and what you have to do is uh, you have to add uh, a script augmented faces example controller and simply attach this face attachment empty object now we are done with all the changes which are required to your face mask app and one thing i will mention that in this tutorial there was no coding part and also it was very basic simple tutorial and make sure that uh, uh, this tutorial or um, i should say this whole ai face mask depends on how nicely you create or how nicely you edit your image so to give a more real look to your app uh, the output of your app you have to edit your image in very in very good manner so you can test and you can simply check what suits you best and what is best in your case now simply go to build setting and make sure that your device is recognized by your system and build and run now you can see the output of this app that you the face mesh of this texture face texture changes according to your expression you can simply move your lips and you can raise i can raise my eyebrows and i can move my eyes all around and i can blink so this face mask ear face mask gives you more realistic feel if you create a face mask after editing an image and that's all for this tutorial hope you must have liked this tutorial please like and subscribe to our channel thank you